In court, an Omaha police officer testified that Ann Smock's car was either stopped or going under six miles an hour when Vismar Carmona Martinez rear-ended her car on New Year's Day. The preliminary cause of death for Ms. Smock was a severed spinal column at the base of the skull. Crash investigators say they used car data box recorder info to see Vismar Carmona Martinez hit his brakes one second before slamming into Smock's car. Two witnesses told police Carmona Martinez's Chevy Malibu sped past them just before the crash. Did that party in the Ford Focus, did they actually see the collision? Uh, no, they do not. At that point, they described seeing a cloud of dust. An Omaha police officer testified they took Carmona Martinez to police headquarters after the crash for sobriety tests. Yeah, it's a lie, bro. And those tests showed he had a .240 blood alcohol content. In my opinion, he should have been driving that. Defense attorneys questioned why officers did that test at the station and not at the scene. Judge John E. Huber had this to say. Now, there's nothing unusual in that situation. That's exactly what happens in every single case that we have. Bismarck Carmona Martinez's case is now bound over to district court for trial. In the newsroom, Aaron Hassanzada, KETV News Watch 7.